Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day today. And for today's viewing pleasure, we have a random video, my package finally showed up kind of situation where we are going to be testing out doing a first impressions and a wear test on the new NYX Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. I have this in the shade Porcelain and I picked it up from the Ulta website. And if you saw Monday's video, which I will go ahead and link up here if you didn't, in that video, I actually test out Gigi Hadid's um, post-pregnancy makeup routine. It's actually a pretty fun video, so check it out if you haven't seen it. But in that video, I do mention that uh, because of the snowstorms that happened, we actually didn't get any packages delivered the tail end of last week going into the weekend. And so it kind of messed up my filming schedule. Originally, this was going to be like a multiple day wear test. I was going to give you guys like even more info. Obviously, we have no control over Mother Nature, okay? So we're just going to roll through it, kind of go with the punches, go, go where life takes us. And by life, I mean the damn snow squalls that will not stop right now. Um, so we're just going to do, like I said, first impression, hang out, talk about it, read through all the specs. From what I can find on the internet, I'm going to go ahead and start opening this up. But from what I can find, um, this is actually supposed to be like a reformulated version of their original Total Control Drop Foundation. And that's one that, oh, that's actually, I think, going to be a decent shade for me. Wow, good job, Paige. Um, but I've never tried that foundation, so I really don't have anything that I can compare it to as far as, you know, like, is it the same? How does it wear? Whatever. So on one hand, it kind of sucks because I can't compare it to the original. But at the same time, it's kind of nice because I'm going to get like a fresh view, a fresh perspective um, on just this foundation and see how it works, which my God, that is like teeny, teeny, tiny. How much do you get? 0.43 fluid ounces. Okay, so you don't get a ton of product. That's kind of weird. Normally a standard foundation, if you're not familiar, if you, if you don't obsessively love foundations like me, um, standard foundations are right around one full fluid ounce. But anyways, real quick here, I do want to run through on the Ulta website just some key features. Um, so again, 0.43 ounces. I have it in the shade porcelain. I just keep, I keep looking at it like, huh? I it's, like, it's like I'm looking for the rest of the bottle to just like appear before my eyes. Um, this retails for $14 and it already has four out of five stars with 334 reviews. So people are feeling somewhat positive about it. Um, okay, introducing the Pro Drop Foundation. It is a lightweight foundation that gives skin a natural skin true finish. Okay, I like that. Build your coverage from sheer to full using the easy to use Pro Dropper. More drops equal more coverage, which is perfect. That's how it is with a lot of dropper foundations. Uh, no paraffins, no sulfates, no mineral oil, no preservatives. 100% vegan, 100% your skin. Okay, Okay, cool. It also says that it's going to give skin a natural, healthy looking finish while minimizing the appearance of imperfections and keeping skin hydrated. Interesting. Um, customizable coverage, we know that. And as far as the website goes, that's pretty much all the info we have. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into this, put my hair back here. I think for primer, I'm actually going to use the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I mentioned this in my um, January favorites. If you missed it, I'll link it up here. I've been loving some fantastic, I mean, obviously, if I love them, they're fantastic, right? But I've been really into this primer lately. Right, so can somebody please just tell me why does it sound like I just woke up 17 seconds ago? Listen to my voice. Hello. I, I feel like I'm like still sleeping and I've been up for literally hours because I got up super fucking early this morning. What is wrong with me? Uh, I sound like I need to go back to bed. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't be upset if I got to go back to bed. Somebody, somebody, let me go back to bed. Start off here by just kind of dripping some onto my cheek. There's really not much coming out of this dropper. I don't know. Oh, there's a chunk on it. That's that's good. Can you guys see that? Ew. Guys, this was the one that didn't show up frozen. I thought that it wasn't going to have any issues. What's happening? Right, so for those of you that don't know the significance of that, oh. Okay, it's kind of beautiful. Kind of the perfect shade. Oh my God, Paige. Oh, good job. Patch yourself a little damn harder. God, this, is, this is like a perfect shade match for me. Oh, wow. And it actually feels super freaking lightweight. Like it has such a thinness on the skin. I, I literally can't even feel it while I'm buffing it in. Oh, that's crazy. And that's really rare too for somebody that has like fibro autoimmune type stuff like I do. Autoimmune makes you like super sensitive to things on your skin, at least for me. And I literally can't feel that. Oh, oh my God. I got, I'm, I'm shook. As I was saying, and by the way, I'm just going to keep going in with a brush because this feels freaking amazing. Uh, it's literally like blending a cloud onto my cheek. But, um, Oh yeah, Monday's video, I was talking about my package not showing up, so it showed up, and I was talking about this on Instagram, how it gets here, right, yesterday, and I'm going through it, guys, I open up my package, and literally everything liquid inside of my package is fucking frozen, <laughs> okay, like, f f f f f frozen, like, I'm talking, like, let it go, that level of fucking frozen, like, bitch touched it, and poof, okay, uh, Elsa, Isla, whatever the hell her name is, boom, my shit's frozen, anyways, all of that to be said, wow, um, Paige, finish your thought, this is why I don't film during the week, because my brain is, like, <laughs> 75 different directions, but but um, 
my my point in saying all this is that I didn't think that this foundation had been affected by the frozen situation, uh, but then just finding that chunk just now when I opened it kind of makes me a little bit concerned. What was that? plow. Y'all, if it is a plow, I am not surprised. It has not stopped snowing in like the last, I don't even know how many days at this point, okay? It has just snowed and snowed and snowed and I'm like, please make it stop. It was like, it was nice for like maybe 10 minutes yesterday and after that, it just started snowing again and I was like, why? Like, what, what is going on? I just want to say it real quick and then I'm going to zoom the camera in, but I am really impressed with this foundation. The way that it looks up under my eyes is actually really beautiful. Like, it has such a thinness to it because uh, normally, obviously, I don't take foundation foundation that far up under my eyes, but there's something about like the texture of this that just works really, really well and it sets beautifully and it actually makes my under eyes look kind of hydrated, which is nice. Also, I wanted to get up close and personal as per usual here, give you guys a little shot of how everything is looking. I actually think the texture on this looks really, really good. The coverage is nice, and I really appreciate that even though, and you can kind of see what I was talking about, like up under my eyes, it just looks really nice and smooth. But I appreciate um, over the acne area that even though this is such a thin texture, um, it doesn't like grab or cling to my acne patches, which is really nice. Normally, when I'm dealing with something that's this thin and lightweight and liquidy, it just really wants to like settle and cling into those areas. And this one actually isn't doing like anything awful in that regard. Like I noticed uh, per usual, okay, on my nose, it's settling into some pores, very standard for me. Now I am gonna go ahead and go into the rest of the face. Next up, I'm gonna use concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. And then after that, I just went in here with a little bit of the Huda Tan Tour. This is in the shade Fair. With using a lighter toned foundation like this one, something that's a lot closer to my skin tone, I do prefer to go in with a cream bronzer just to start warming up the skin. Because then at the end, when I set everything together with setting, spray and I lock it all in. I feel like the natural sculpt that I get from a cream product, it just really melts in with my powder products and helps everything to look a lot more, um, a lot more like glow from within. Like the bronze is actually coming from my skin versus a powder product, if that makes sense. And then moving on to setting the under eyes in the T-zone, I'm using the one size setting powder. And then after that, I'm just setting everything down with my Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation Powder. This is in the shade 150. All right, so at this point in the game, I like to pause and give you guys a little bit more info as far as, you know, know how things are looking once they're set down and so far so good I'm not noticing any weird like clinging or patched up um, situation I will say on the porous areas of my nose that area is still looking a little bit settled again not mad at it very typical for me and maybe like right in this area right here um, this was like the driest little acne texture spot that I had on my skin and it doesn't look bad I'm just noticing like the teeny teeny teeniest amount of settling but I also haven't went through with like my um, other powders and my setting sprays and stuff like that which usually helps kind of press those layers together and it helps take away any like residual look like that on the skin so so far so good on that now I'm just gonna go ahead and keep moving on to the other products I'll briefly mention each one as per your guys's request you guys said and by the way if you're new here everybody kind of took a poll and said that they prefer it when I do all of these little steps on camera so this is the Fenty Sun Stalker in the Sun Bronzer and then for blush I'm gonna grab the Bare Minerals Mauve Sunrise this is their Bounce and Blur blush. And I'm gonna grab this and just pop it on the chic. And then going in to lightly shape out the face here, I'm grabbing the number seven Lift and Luminate. And I'm gonna use this up under the eyes. I do this pretty much every day just to add a little pop of brightness here. I let it sit while I do my brows. And then next up, I'm going in with the ABH Brow Wiz for brows. This is in the shade Medium Brown. And then for the eyes, I'm not doing anything crazy today. This is just that same Fenty bronzer. I'm running that through with a big old fluffy brush. And then go ahead, of course, and remove the bait. Going next with a little bit of setting spray. This is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better setting spray. And then for highlight, I'm going to grab the ABH Nicole Guerrero palette, and I'm going to, I think, mix... Mm, yeah, I want to mix, like, these two shades right here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to add in a little bit of Go Getter, too, this one right here. Do kind of all three. I want just a little bit more golden. Yeah, ooh, that's perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Got to get just a little bit there on that Chalupa Chin. Oh, yes, honey. Hashtag Chalupa Chin. Oh, yes. Got to have a little bit on that little greasy-ass Chalupa Chin right there. Mm, let that grease just drip on down. Down, down to that chin town. Oh, my God. Love me a nice little highlighted chin. Not too much, not too little. Just the perfect amount of grease right there. And then, of course, I'm going to take that same mixture and pop that on the inner corner and the brow bone. And I'm also going to throw a little bit of the shade. I think I'm going to take 
this one, 143. And it's just a beautiful kind of goldy champagne color. I'm gonna pop that all over the mobile lid down here just for a little bit of shine. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at the brow bone down to the cheek. Like, look at that, just oof, 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 pop, 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 yeah. I'm sparkling. And then after that, I'm gonna grab just one final hit of setting spray. This is, of course, my Catrice Dewy Glow setting spray. Mm. Right, and then of course next up here we have to curl up the lashes. For mascara, I'm grabbing the Lancome Lash Eye Dole Mascara. And I will build up a couple of coats of this. Okay, and then finishing up with lips, I'm grabbing my Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade Because Duh. And I'm gonna line out my lips and fill them in. On top of that, I'm just grabbing a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame Lip Gloss. It has just a little bit of that pink sparkle to it, like a little bit of opacity, but... Not very much, so it pairs beautifully with this lip liner. And all right, you guys, with that, of course, the full face is done. This is how everything came together. And I actually really, really like the way that this looks. I think that one of the things, and by the way, I'm going to go ahead and throw up the up close. That way you guys can see um, how things are looking too. But I think for me, going through the description, one of the things that really caught my eye with this foundation is that they said it would have a really nice natural skin true finish to it. And I have to say, so far, I completely agree. I think that this has a beautiful, not only a finish, with it but even the look of it because I didn't build up a ton like over my acne and my redness along the jawline even that area looks a lot more natural because that redness kind of peeks through I really don't have anything else to add I think this foundation looks beautiful even up on my forehead up around my nose it looks really nice um and like my, my texture over my cheek just everything looks really really good so yeah I'm gonna go ahead I guess I'm just gonna go do the day normally I have more notes and you know I have more opinions at this point um but yeah so far so good I'm gonna go ahead and run off of camera I'll check back in um, either at the end of the day or if something applicable happens, whatnot. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go venture out into the snow and I will see you guys here in a bit. And all right, beautiful people, with that, it is officially the end of the day. I've been wearing this makeup for about 10 and a half ish hours and I wanted to, of course, come on here and give you my final thoughts, my first impression roundup. And in doing so, of course, we're going to get up close. I'm going to bring the camera into like, like right here and uh, we're really going to talk about it. So let's go ahead and get that up on the screen. Now, I do want to start off while you guys are good and up close with a couple of things that I really like about this foundation and the first one being the hydration I feel like as someone who has more combo leaning oily skin you know maybe that's not the best attribute for me personally because there were a couple of times throughout the day and even right now where you know my nose looked a little bit too aggressively oily like the things were just going a little bit too greasified chicken nugget fryer type situation but I think on the right skin type that is actually a really beautiful feature now another thing that I love about this is that as it wears throughout the day it really doesn't um it you don't feel it on your skin any more than you did during application and something that I've noticed with thinner textured foundations or even just foundations in general is that a lot of times as they wear throughout the day and you know the powder and all of that you know kind of comes together they can start to feel really heavy but I love that with this one you don't have that it just has a very continuous light feel from application um, again to the end of the day which is really really nice now from here I do want to move into some things that I don't care for and um, I'm gonna start off actually with the wear of this because on my skin, I noticed two things. Number one, because I'm oily, especially through my T-zone, my nose is a disaster with this foundation. It just, it's so oily and it causes so much breakage, like all over the nose, the pores, the sides, and even in the up close, I think you guys could see like right through here, like all my foundation was just coming off because again, I do have an, a more oily T-zone and this foundation just doesn't seem to wear very well with oil. Again, at least not today in my first impression. And from what I'm seeing, all of this kind of does tie back to the lightweight aspect aspect of this foundation because it is so light I don't think that it's really like clinging or gripping to my skin whereas a lot of other foundations they have like a little bit of weight they got a little bit of ass behind them and they can really just like get in there and adhere to my skin a little bit better and so with this one I think a couple of things number one if I were to try it again that's an area for me that I would have to focus on a little bit more aggressively whether it is maybe a gripping primer or something that has a little bit more of a long lasting feel to it and then I do have two things after that that I want to mention the first one um, being the acne around like my jawline, this whole area. Because uh, you guys know, I don't mind showing my acne. Like I'll wear everything from a CC cream all the way to full coverage and I'm fine either way. But I do have the big belief that if I put on a foundation expecting and obtaining a certain coverage, I like that coverage to be maintained throughout the day. And because this one is so lightweight and it does slough and move around and it doesn't wear the best, it did um, 
um, wear off of my acne and my textured spots a lot more. Uh, again, just like down through this area, that's, that for me is probably the worst part of it, I think. And then finally, too, I wanted to mention for the transfer of this, because I always get asked about masks, will it hold up? And with this foundation, I absolutely do not think it would hold up under a mask. And I know this because all of the foundation is currently like wiped off or almost completely wiped off of this area of my face. Because earlier I had an itch or a hair or something and I didn't even think about it and I just went like this and literally all the foundation, it just got right, right off my damn face. So I definitely don't think, that being said, that this is the foundation between that, the area missing up here under my nose, the oil sloughage, like just everything that's going on. I don't think this is a foundation that would survive a mask, you know, type situation. But all right, you guys, that is officially the end of the foundation review. I feel like my hair is st sticking up in the back, ping, like a little peacock. I got like an alfalfa sprout coming out the damn bun right there. But uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Feel free to leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Let me know if you still like foundation reviews uh, or if you're into this one specifically, if you were curious, just, just give me all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and please, please, please go follow me over on Instagram. I would really, really appreciate it. I put up a ton of content. But from there, beautiful people, I think that that is everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My first kiss went a little like this. And kiss. And kiss. Well, my first kiss went a little like this. And kiss. And kiss. The day I've been wearing this makeup for about ten and a half ish hours, and I wanted to give you guys, of course, okay, of course, of course, I want to do, of course. She don't ever get enough once she gets a little. If you get it my way, you know that I'll make you say, walk it that's basically exactly how that goes, right? That I means basically the lyrics, duh. Mirror, mirror on the wall who found her perfect skin tone out of them all. Ooh, yeah, that's me, that's me, that's me. Seriously, why does this match so good? Like, who am I? Oh my God, and my texture looks wonderful and that fucking... Do you guys hear the tractor? <laughs> Do you hear it? Okay, tractors don't stop just because it's winter. <laughs> Fun fact, they really don't. If anything, I think they come out more. I love it.